Welcome to the Wednesday web chat uh, today. My name is Michael Hodge and I'll be doing the period and close, which is the year and close process. So first, I, before we get into the product, how and when is it used? Uh, it, it's used um, to basically, if anyone here is not in accounting, it's used to take your net profit and loss and move it to your balance sheet. Every year uh, we do this, so you have to take your total net earnings and move it down to retained earnings on the balance sheet. And this is the process that clears all these accounts. When is it used? Well, the nice thing about this product or this functionality is you can use it more than once. So some people that have had other software packages where they have a hard close, meaning they close the period or the year, and they can't go back and change anything, they're used to waiting maybe until June or July until their accountant uh, tells them the final entries. But with this, you can actually, I usually close maybe the end of January, beginning of February, so that my balance sheet's right. And then when I get my adjusting entries from the CPA, I'll go and post those into the last year. And then I just rerun the period and close, and it just grabs those pieces. So that makes the product pretty useful. I'm going to show you in the setup how to set up the general ledger clearing account and how that it's put in the general ledger determination. I'll show you the authorization that is needed to run if you're not a super user. Uh, I'll go over the posting periods and I'll also um, run a P&L and reconcile the period to the month to date. So once we run the period uh, P&L, we're going to select the fiscal period to run. We're going to balance it to the P&L. If it doesn't balance, then we stop. And at that point, I recommend you email support, Vision 33, support at vision-33.com and don't move any further 